I've been looking through some of my bows. Yeah, it's another bow video. Um, and I just kind of wanted to go over this little guy here. This is a, a black gum. Uh, I, at least I think it's a black gum. And it's one, it's actually the first one I made. Um, I was kind of learning on it. And this little guy, it, it's, he's kind of rough, just like every uh, of, of my other bows. Um, but uh, what I'm impressed about is its power. This one is about 44 inches, so about three and a half feet. Um, and uh, it, is, it is not perfect. It's actually got a pretty decent tiller, but it flexes from this end up to right here. And it's got a stiff spot about right, right about where the handle is, but then it flexes again to right about where that knob is, right under my chin there, and uh, and up it doesn't. So it's it's got an even tiller, even though it, it flexes a little bit differently through the throughout it. Um, it draws thirty pounds at like I don't know eighteen inches or something like that, um, and it, it's got some good snap. And we actually did a flight test on it at work. We just had a big open field. My boss actually knew where 100 yards was, and we were surprised that it actually launched an arrow just past the 100-yard mark. Now, we were up a little high, so um, when I, you know, I arced it, um, because I shot it up here and it landed down here, you know, I got a little bit of extra distance, but, I mean, that was still pretty impressive. Um, I like these as... It's basically a survival bow, like if you, you read uh, the instructions out of the SAS handbook. It is a survival bow. It's short, it's, you know, but I made it um, to last a while. You know, this bow will break down. I haven't treated it or anything, but um, this bow, you know, if, as long as I keep it dry, um, should last about a year or so. That's been my experience. Um, but this is a perfect little brush bow or bush bow. You know, something you can you can uh, kind of stalk around and hunt rabbits with, you know, shoot down in between in between stuff. You don't have a long draw and you don't have a big, you know, six foot long bow, um, you know, catching on every little twig and stuff. Um, I've gone walking through the uh, woods with a strung bow and that spot got caught all the time. Um, this little guy, you know, you can actually tuck right up under your arm and, um, you know, put, put some thumpers on it or something. Um, it'd be a great squirrel bow. Uh, so it'd be a really good small game bow and perfectly, uh, capable of doing it. Um, I really, I am a fan of these, uh, short bows and, um, it seems to be about the only thing I can make. I've, I failed my last two attempts at making, no, last three attempts at making long bows. I've got another bow that I haven't even bothered to show because it, um, it has absolutely no power. It only, I think, maybe 12 pounds on the thing. Um, I don't know what I did wrong. It looks really cool, but it just it doesn't have any power. So um, these little guys, you can knock out, um, you know, fairly easily. You can kind of eyeball things. And, um, you know, especially for like a practice bow or something. But what I like is it, it doesn't take a whole lot of material. If you can find yourself a three and a half, four foot, um, you know, stave to make them out of, and you only need something about yay big around. Um, you know, they're they're a very viable option for you know, say a survival bow, or just a bow that you want to make and play with, give to your kids, you know, whatever. Um, I've made several of these um, in practicing, you know, with what I read out of survival books, and I made them, maybe shot an arrow out of them, then I stuck them in a the closet, let them dry, and I've passed them on to my friends' kids. So. Um, that's just kind of my thoughts on short bows, uh, really nice, compact, um, and powerful enough to do, you know, a good bit of hunting with.